Hello, my friends. Today I will be talking about the thermocolleuse. This is a machine which is generating heat. And it's not often used, but from time to time, when you, you need it, it's really a very helpful tool. The purpose of this machine is to unglue old paint. So I'll make a, small, a short demonstration in, in this video. And uh, there are probably other purposes. I don't see now any. Maybe it could be also for, in case you are making small surfaces of uh, goudron. Uh, it may also be useful for gluing the goudron on the surface that you are preparing. So basically, this is like a, a hair dryer. Here in this model, there are two levels of uh, strength. And uh, it's sometimes useful to have a low uh, temperature. So you just open like this, you switch it on like this. And now you have to be very careful because this piece here will become very, very hot. So there are different types of tops. First, this one. So this one is a quite peculiar. So it will, it will throw all the heat on this little piece, which make that this, let's say, kind of blade will become extremely hot. So this is a rather seldom model I uh, haven't used so much. Then you have this type. This here is for concentrating the heat on a smaller surface, which means that it will be much hotter on this little part. This one I haven't used very often. And the ones you're using most are these ones. And this here is when you're uh, working on plain surfaces. So you, 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 you're reaching a, a bigger width. And then you will use either this one or this one, depending on the space you have. So the reality of the thermocolleuse is that you will need uh, spatulas. These will be your best friends. I have here a very nice little box out of wood, which has been offered by my friend Sanya from Serbia. Very good uh, little uh, alcohol based on uh, apples. So let's have a quick look on these spatulas. First, this one. This one is a very essential one. You will need it for reaching corners, which you cannot reach. This is classically indoors, which have some uh, molds. This one here is the same. It's also a very good friend. It's very hard, so you can also use it for, for plain surfaces if you want to scratch the paint you want to unglue. Then you have other ones. So this one is not so good. It's too uh, soft. This one is a very good one. It's a hard one. It's a cheap one. It works very efficiently for using with a thermocolleuse. And then you will you, you, you may you need other types like this one, which enables you to reach corners. It's a very good model here. It's a very hard one. So that's for an overview. And I think you can also use, you can also mount this one on this uh, holder here. It's very good quality. In case you are ungluing paint on doors, really these ones are, are very, very important tools. And when you're buying, make, make sure that they're very hard. It's very hard metal. <coughs> you can, of course, have a look at the masterclass about spatulas. So I will now make a little demonstration on my workbench. So this is very old and this is typically very old paint which is horrible to remove. And by the way, you see here the screws of my two uh, exterior lamps for which I made a video as well as this wonderful um, lamp um, I am restoring and about which I made a video as well. So let's go for the demonstration. First we switch on the machine. And now we have to wait a couple of seconds that it's getting warm. And then you just put it close to the paint.
So be very careful because after use, this uh, part here, this piece is get becoming very hot. So be very careful when, when putting it somewhere because it can burn. This, this cable here could be burnt. So be very careful where you're putting it. And after a while, this uh, spatula is getting hot as well. So it's better to wear gloves for avoiding to burn your, your hands. So let's continue. Another little information about security. Make sure that you are uh, opening your windows because when you are uh, melting the paint, you have some uh, emissions of chemics which may be damageable for health. So don't forget to open a window or to make it outside if you can. By the way, here on my workbench, some inner tubes, very useful for your mobility. You can have a look at my video on how to change inner tubes. Another, another, thing, another tip I can share with you is to, you have to be careful of not keeping this too long close to the wood, otherwise you will get some traces of uh, burned wood on your wood. And the reason why you need this machine for removing this paint is that with a, even with an electric sander, this here is extremely resistant. So you won't be able to remove it and you will, you will uh, really um, sacrifice all your sanding paper. So that's why you first of all need to uh, unglue this bad paint with the machine. 
That's it, my friend. Now you know everything about the thermocolors. Uh, I hope it will be useful in your future works. If you like this video, please leave me a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, see you soon on Happy Hour TV One.